welcome to the HDSE poll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. The findings of the latest Ministry of Health's Epidemiology Unit report indicate that non-communicable diseases such as cancers, chronic respiratory diseases, diabetes, and hypertension cause more than 80% of the deaths in St. Lucia. Disturbingly, the most recent findings suggest that cases of high blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity have increased significantly over the previous five years. Non-communicable diseases are largely the result of unhealthy lifestyles, poor diet, smoking, lack of physical activity, and alcohol consumption. So we ask, is it time to take more drastic steps to turn the tide of unhealthy lifestyles in St. Lucia? We took to the streets to get your opinion, and here's what you had to say. I think now is the time. Uh, there is much more knowledge and education about healthy lifestyles, uh, the food that we eat, and how it affects us. So I think it's really it really comes down to personal responsibility. And now really is the time for St. Lucians to 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 adopt a healthier lifestyle, especially with all the NCDs that we're reporting yearly. First, to begin, St. Lucians have to realize that their health is in their hands. Okay. But on the other hand, that most of these people who, who can't live healthy is, 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 is because of finance. It is very expensive to live healthy. Okay? And the government should have an input into helping certain people to, to be, be, be have a better salary so they can live healthy. The problem that, I, that I'm thinking about is that even though the government does take options, it's up to the individual person for themselves to want to, um, to be healthy, you know, you can talk as much as you can, but you have to show, the better thing is to show people the results of being healthy then, show them um, how long they're living, you know, uh, if you die, you die, how you die, you probably don't die without a pain, you know, because I have grandparents that died in their 90s, just, you know, so it's to show them the benefits of it then. When I look at what's happening presently is that um, government should take the initiative to assist farmers in um, going local. Um, I think that's the best way they can assist um, persons for eating healthy because um, eating healthy in St. Lucia is very expensive and if um, the government assists the farmers in um, local production, I think that would be a better way to assist um, the, the populace. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. St. Lucia celebrated its 45th anniversary of independence on Wednesday, February 22nd, with a range of activities put on by both public and private organizers. The activities are set to continue for the next few weeks. So we ask, are you satisfied with the organizing and hosting of independence activities this year? Voting is easy. Just log on to hdsaintlucia.org and vote. Remember, our ePoll team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HDS News Force from 7pm for the results and the new discussion.